I have been involved in Plainfield's political life for the past 15 years, dating back to 1998 when I first stepped into the process. And through all of those years, I have seen a lot in Plainfield, a lot of changes. We have not moved forward very much in those 15 years. And I think one of the reasons why we haven't moved forward is because we have suffered from a lack of leadership in City Hall. We were on the right path when we were under the leadership of the late mayor, my friend, may his soul rest in peace, Al McWilliams. Yes. But since then, when we had the change in administration and we moved to our current mayor, we have been stagnant. We have been on a treadmill. And we have not been able to do anything that remotely resembles progress. And when we add to that the fact that the city has been divided like it never had before, it doesn't help any of us, it doesn't help the city. And so you will notice that my campaign slogan is about one plain field. Because it can't be about the first ward versus the second ward or the third versus the fourth. Because if any one part of our city is not doing well, the entire city is hurting. And so we need to make sure that everything that we do, that we pull every part of the city along with us. And we need to make sure that we unite as one, because divided, we will continue to fail. And failure is not an option. And so I present myself to you as the candidate who will deliver the change that plenty of you need, and God knows we need change. <laughs> and so we have an opportunity. And I believe that based on my 15 or so years of experience in the political process. Based on my background, my experience in government at both the local and the county level, my experience in corporate, coming into the public sector, that I am the person best suited, best qualified to lead this city forward. And with your help, with your support, I will be the next mayor of the city of Plainfield. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> It is not easy. And with your support, when I take office on January 1st, the task is going to be a monumental one. It's going to require a lot of hard work, a lot of effort, a lot of support and partnerships. And I have said so many times that Plainfield is not an island unto itself. We cannot move forward unless we have the support of neighboring municipalities, support of the county government, and support of the state government. Mm -hmm. And so that is why it is so important for me to establish relationships, not just within Plainfield, but beyond its borders, mm -hmm. so that I can build the coalitions and relationships that will allow me to access the resources, the capital, the funds that we need to bring development to the city of Plainfield. The resources that are needed must be identified, and in order for me to bring those resources here, I have got to work in close partnership with all players at the state level, at the county level, and across our boundaries. And so I'm asking for your support. I'm asking you to help me. And there are many ways that you can help me. There's a sign-up sheet that most of you signed as you came through the door. We have a need for people to make phone calls. We have a need for people to decorate their, song, their lawns with the art that you see out there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and we have a need for you to go with me knocking on the doors of your neighbors so that they know how important this is. This is an opportunity that we can't miss. We can't pass this up. And so we can't take for granted that because I have the line, that that's a sure thing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It will only be a sure thing if each and every one mm -hmm. and your neighbors and friends come out on June 4th and vote for all of the candidates in column B. 
Now, why did I say all of the candidates? I think it is important that you look not just at me, but that you also recognize the fact that we need to have a legislature in Trenton that will work together to bring and to deliver the resources that municipalities like Plainfield need. And so, I know there are some people who are friendly towards the person who occupies the top spot in Trenton. And that's okay. But I have to tell you, I am supporting the ticket from the top to the bottom. From the candidate for governor, Barbara Bono, all the way down to every candidate that is running for the city committee here in Plainfield. And that is important because the amount of resources that we're going to be able to attract from Trenton will be determined by who represents us in Trenton, who sits in the top spot. And so it's not just about me, but it's about electing people that will serve in our best interest. And I say that thinking of what is happening in Washington. I mean, we saw what just happened a couple days ago mm -hmm. with 45 senators voting against meaningful gun reform. Now, how can that be justified? No way. No way. And so it depends on who you send to represent you at the state level, at the national level, that will determine the future direction of not this city, but cities across the nation. And so I think it's important who we send to Trenton. <laughs> so I'm asking you for your support for all of the candidates, the Democratic Party candidates, in column B. Now, I know that I am preaching to the choir. <laughs> but that same person who sits in Trenton now, who I am not supporting, because I said to you I'm supporting Barbara Bono, but he once said that it's important to preach to the choir, and I agree with him. <laughs> and you preach to the choir, he said, so that the choir will sing. <laughs> <laughs> and so I want all of you to go out and, and sing in harmony. Sing the praises of Adrian Matt. Sing the praises of... <laughs> that is important. You are my choir. And so I need you to sing. And so... How can you support me? You can support me by your donations. You can support me by volunteering to make phone calls. You can support me by helping me to knock on doors, by speaking to your neighbors and friends. But it's not just about supporting me. It's about supporting the entire ticket from top to bottom. One of our candidates for the 22nd district has an opponent in the primary, Nick. Scutari. He is the senator who represents the 22nd legislative <laughs> district. And his opponent is, I believe, a female who used to be a former free holder. Mm -hmm. But we need to keep Nick Scutari as the senator representing the 22nd legislative district. He's a great policy person. He heads the Judiciary Committee, and he is good for the state. He's good for playing field. Sheriff Ralph Froelich also has a couple of opponents. I believe that the sheriff will continue to provide us with the resources that we need from his office. And so I'm also asking you to support Sheriff Ralph Froelich for the election. And so ladies and gentlemen, as far as I am concerned, as far as Plainfield is concerned, I've said to people on a few occasions that we have a choice. And the choice is very clear. People could choose to embrace the current mayor who has taken us to the proverbial cliff. And so you can embrace her and take the plunge into the abyss. That's true. <laughs> or you can walk with me on the road that leads to prosperity, that leads to change, that leads to a future for everyone that's living here in the city of Pennsylvania. Yeah. Yeah. So into the abyss. <laughs> I know what you will choose. Yes. And so, ladies and gentlemen, I want to again thank each and every one of you. But I can't leave these texts without thanking my lovely wife, yeah. who has been <laughs> my back.
my remarks without thanking the host of this evening's event, John Stewart. Yeah, let's hey, 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 hey. Hey. They have been wonderful, they have been great, they have been extremely, extremely helpful to me and to the Democratic Party, as all of you have been. And so, ladies and gentlemen, I'm not going to start naming any other names. <laughs> always get into trouble. Just know that I thank each and every one of you from the bottom of my heart. And if you don't have a lawn sign, don't leave. <laughs> okay? Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so very much. Yay! Thank you. Thank you.